Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I just want to give a short update. Uh, this is for a customer right here in Virginia. They bought this, uh, or they brought me this 2001 Chevy Astro uh, PCM for programming. Uh, this is now the process of the programming, and that is the VIN number of the vehicle. I'm trying to get to um, focus. And yes, it is 9.15 p.m. I'm always working as hard as I can to help others, you know, and the customers as well. So. Uh, the customer replaced this computer, but uh, it come blank, so it has to be being programmed and calibration flash into it. I said, yeah, sure, no problem, go ahead and bring it over, but I didn't know what these all uh, type of computers. Not that, you know, um, it cannot be done, but I'm, you know, not used to working such old computers to do programming or flashing. But yeah, just want to share the connections that you need in there. Powers and grounds, all I put what C1 is, the blue. All you need is in the blue connector. As you can see, I got only pins in there. Powers, ground, and class two communication. The rest I use, again, my uniform or uh, universal test platform. And I'm using the JB, JBCI from Autel. What you need to do to make sure is that you download the um, let me just make sure your Bean subscription has been updated. Would you like to view your profile now? So um, I can leave this for now here. What you want to make sure is before you download the um, AC Delco software into your laptop, I mean, Windows 10 um, and the requirements they had in there, that you download Autel PC Suite. So the drivers for the JBCI are already in the computer. Whatever driver you have, if you use the 4 BCI or the Hotel BCI or the Snap -on BCI for you know for programming like J Pass Through, they need to be in the computer. So when the software is installed, it recognizes, and now you get access to all those. All right. So let me uh, just show that yes, the calibration was indeed performed. Let me stop the video one second to put my glasses. All right. Now I can read. It says warranty claim code it says powertrain action completed powertrain vehicle control module programming uh, 224 so i'm going to take a screen capture for me and for the customer i always just um, do this so they can have and i can have that you know the programming indeed took place and i just take a complete screen capture uh, let me just save this on my computer folder I probably should have, um, let me just put this on the desktop. And this is what you should do if you have a business. So you should, can show the customer that you did all that, even though I'm doing a video. Would you like to view your profile now, later, right? All right, so mandatory controller specification instructions, crunch position variator, uh, variation relearn. So I will have to take this to the customer. Then he needs to do the... Uh, crunch if relearned and then these ones are you need to accelerate the vehicle to like 3000 rpms and hold it for like a one second and then release that's what they do with these whole vehicles but yeah the warranty claim code is required to confirm the program has been completed incorrect on using warranty claim codes my result in rejection of the claim so let me do one more time the screen capture because i have that other pop-up in there that i don't want to save for this I can always revisit, revisit the information if I take a screen capture, right? All right, so that is already saved. And then, like, we're actually really done. So what I want to do now is uh, close the software here. As you can see, this is now shutting down. And what I'm going to do now is just disconnect that computer. Yeah, I don't need no more. And I'm going to connect the uh, top down. So give me one second. All right. In the meantime, the top down MCI Pro. Oh, sorry. I'm drop it back in here. Is powering up, and the top down is powering up. Sorry, I had to stop it one second to clean the lens. All right. So we can now try to auto scan. And this is a class two. Uh, network 
I'm not sure if it's no customer's name in here. No, there is no customer's name. I have the actual uh, bean in here. So we know that this is a uh, last digit beef 148109. So let's see if we get a connection. Otherwise, I have to manually select it. Nope, it didn't read it. So we're gonna have to skip this. And not abnormal. I mean, it's the only computer that is the only the only piece. Sorry, only the PCM is connected. It's late. I'm tired. So let's go into Chevrolet, which should be the same GM, right? Uh, so let's click OK. Let me make sure I can put this in here. So bear with me i'm trying to you know make the video as short as possible and good i don't need this computer no more so i can shut my laptop off all right so let's do a manual selection so this is a 2001 and it's an astro rear wheel drive All right, this is going to read data, which is not really doing nothing, just trying to collect the bean. And then, um, yep, so it's under 8,000 uh, automatic. It's a two wheel drive. And let's get entered into the powertrain control module. All I want to now do is actually get into the module information first let's make sure that we can read the bean it's going to be like in three perfect so yep um so i'm going to read the bean from here even though you guys can see it uh, because this tool cuts it into three from one to five to 12 to 17 and then the digits from six and 11 i don't know why i do it like that but that's what it is so it should be one G as in Gray, C as in Carlos, D as in David, M as in Mary, 1, 9, W as in Walter, 2, 1, B as in Brown, 1, 4, 8, 1, 0, 9. And we can see that those are perfect correct. So I will take a picture after I finish the video, again, for my records. And now let's go over to calibration ID, which I also have a picture with a blank computer before where there was no bean and where there was no calibration. So now we should have everything. I mean, it was done original. So this computer should be with the latest calibration that was necessary for it. And yes, everything is good. So now we have all numbers before it was not available, not available. So everything went through perfect. So yeah, again, this is a record for my customer and also to show that yes you can use the hotel kbci it's pretty simple to get to the software of ac delco create a, a subscription and then program a computer even on the bench like this and i actually like to program this computer better here than in the car because we got a nice and clean power supply voltage so it's less prone or possible to break a module here where the power is nice and steady especially with high-end power supplies that way you have a battery charger and a battery on the car because that can create fluctuations it takes literally you know longer to download the software than to program the computer but yeah all is good uh, i hope you guys like the content don't forget to subscribe see you next time bye bye